All right, next question is from Ali A. Kelly. How do you address low back soreness after heavy deadlifts? Oh, okay. So if it's muscle soreness, uh, you you know, I say it's it's fair to assume that heavy deadlifts, you're going to experience a, an appropriate level because if you overdo it, right, you don't want to get too sore, but an appropriate amount of soreness in the muscles that support the spine, uh, the erector spinae muscles, which will be... It's low. It'll be the low back. It'll be up the middle of your back, and it'll feel like muscle it's, soreness. It's the abdominals of the low back. Yeah. So, th so that's that's okay, and that's normal. If it's a bad kind of soreness, uh, if you're in pain, you can't move. You're, you're going too heavy, and your form is is not good. And I would work on hip mobility. Ankle mobility is important too, but hip mobility seems to be more important for someone's deadlift and then their form. A lot of people when they deadlift, they, they make the following mistake. They lift their hips and then they lift the bar. So mm -hmm. it looks like it's like a two-stage lift and it becomes like a Romanian deadlift with really heavy weight. Really a deadlift is both a pushing and pulling movement. Think people, We call it pulling, but the reality is, especially if you listen to some of the best deadlifters of all time, like Ed Cohn, for example, they talk about you grab the bar, you tense up, and you're yes, you are pulling with the upper body, but you're pushing with your legs, like you're trying to push yeah. through the floor, right. and it creates a this this much better technique that prevents you from overloading the low back. I think I'm looking for my. I'm asking my client uh, some questions on this, right? So I want to know how much they feel in their glutes and their hamstrings. If they they only feel soreness in their low back, it's normally a form issue. It's normally something that we can we can address and we can like we can modify to your exact point. And it's normally exactly what you said. It's normally the hips are, are rising early and they're just doing like this big back extension more right. than they are doing a you know driving the hips forward. They're going into the lift with the they don't have the right intent uh, you know set up in their in their mechanics and and really like feeling that. And I love that cue of like driving those feet yes. into the into the floor and, and that's what propels you up. Really like you're 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 trying to engage your back so everything's braced. So even like kind of pulling uh, feeling like you're you're bending the bar yes. too to really engage, you know, your back and your lats and everything else uh, is great for that stabilization but to stabilize and then drive with your legs uh you know is where i like to get to that point but you know once you get a back soreness uh i mean really to to, to just like lightly go through uh I, I find that walking really helps too with that in, in terms of like trying to uh you know get some active recovery going with that like some light like hip bridges and things like that some hip mobility uh but really i mean that's if it's a really bad soreness you know that's something you really have to look into like adam said your technique yeah so you know uh, flat shoes or barefoot if your gym allows it because any rise in the heel throws your center of gravity forward a little bit and will make it more challenging to have good form so flat shoes um, get close to the bar. Justin gave a great cue. You want to, you want to, you want to turn on your lats. You want to pull down a little bit, bend the bar, and then take the slack off the bar. Meaning, create a little upward pressure. Don't lift the bar, but get it so that it's tight before you're ready to lift. Take a deep breath, hold your breath, and then drive through the floor with your legs and lift with your upper body, and you'll create a really, really tight position. You got to go through our our Mind Pump TV YouTube channel too, because we've got, I mean, we've got Jordan Shallow that did some great videos on there. We got few uh, experts. We got Jordan Syed that did some really good videos yes. on there. Um, who uh, we got Coach Eugene Tao that did some great. All gave a lot of different really cool tips on on deadlifting, uh, and, and I believe. I believe Coach uh, Eugene Tao is the one that did uh, address the low back issue mm. as far as cueing and stuff. And, and I saw a lot of people that commented like, "Oh wow, this really helped me out." So cool. Check that out on the mind. That'll pump be TV. in the in the in the show notes at mindpumppodcast.com.